Good morning. Today we're going to talk about cover letters. A cover letter's purpose is to be on top of your application and on top of your resume. It is explaining to the interviewer or to the company that you are interested in this job. So, to start our cover letter, everybody open up a blank Word document. We have to format the document or format the paper so that way it looks nice and professional. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to layout. We're going to make our top margin say 2. The left and the right and the bottom all say 1. Okay. And then we're going to begin typing. The first thing that we're going to type is our name and our address. You want to make sure that you use accurate information. We're going to press enter twice. Put the day of the job fair for this um, letter. We're going to press enter four times. And then we're going to type in the name of the company. So for our scenario, it's going to be Carpet Incorporated. Usually you would have put the name of the person that's going to be interviewing you, but in this case, we have several different speakers that will be interviewing, so we're just going to leave it as in Carpet Incorporated. Then underneath, we're going to put the address, and let's just use the school's address as their address. We're going to press enter twice. And again, since we do not know who will be interviewing us, we're going to put the phrase of to whom it may concern. With a colon after it. I'm going to press enter twice. And then I'm going to begin copying or typing down um, my information. Now, I already have an example listed here. I'm going to change a few things, though. Now, I want you to be able to use the example that I have. The only thing is that I need you to make it for the job that you are going to be applying for in our scenario. Okay, so I might put, I'm interested in the advertising position that was advertised in Calhoun Times. You will note from my resume that I have and then put something that relates to that job. So for advertising, I might put that I have computer skills and again they're going to see that on the resume so you've got to make sure that these two things match up I also have experience with I might list Microsoft Office Suite 2011 so that way they'll know that I am current with technology I might also put that I have experience with working with people and um, organizing information. Okay, so anything that um, could relate. Also, it says past employers, but I might change this if I haven't had a job before to say um, my references will tell you that I am, and then put, you know, I put that I am an honest, hardworking employee, um, but your references might say something else, that you're creative, um, that you are, you know, very good at organizing, that you have a fast typing speed, um, that, you know, you are reliable, 
um, dependable, oh, anything that you think that they might say about you. Then I put, I would like to arrange an interview for the current position available at Carpet Incorporated. Again, I'm going to put a number that they could reach me at. And then I would put my email if I had an email. Again, you want to make sure that your email is something that's appropriate, not something that um, is going to call attention to, well, hey, you know, if they have an email of, you know, bigbootyjudy at yahoo.com, that's not really appropriate, so they might not think that you would take the job seriously. Then everybody could put the sentence of, thank you for your consideration. I look forward to meeting you. Sincerely. And then I'm going to press enter four times. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to put my name. And the reason why is after you have printed this, then you're going to go back and sign where it says in between sincerely and your name. Okay. So if I look at my overall letter, this is what it should look like. Again, um, I'm just going to real quick so you can see what a completed letter looks like. Okay, so this is what the completed letter would look like. You notice that there's a large gap at the top. That's so that way if I had um, a letterhead, I could put the letterhead, but it also makes it look professional without it. Everything is lined up on the left-hand side, making sure that there are no um, indents, like in an essay where we don't indent, um, and making sure that everything is grammatically correct capitalize, capitalize, capitalize. Too many people, they just get to typing and they forget to capitalize just simply, you know, their last name. So we're always making sure that we're capitalizing, okay? All right. Thank y'all, and if I've got any questions, just let me know.